Hello world, it is Wednesday, uh, October 27th, 2021, and uh, it is a beautiful day today in Defiance. Blue skies, a little dapple of clouds in the sky, um, but it is uh, quite cool. <laughs> it was 34 degrees this morning when I went out for a run, and I think it's supposed to get in around 50 degrees or so, but a uh, beautiful morning, beautiful October fall morning. The devotion for today is entitled, Be Careful What You Pray For, by Jennifer Garrison Brownell. Jennifer bases the devotion upon Matthew chapter 20, verse 32 through 33, New Revised Standard Version. Jesus stood still and called them, saying, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. And Jennifer writes, Years ago in some movie where he was playing God, Morgan Freeman advised his frazzled co-star that if she prayed for patience, what she would receive is opportunities to practice being patient. I can't remember much else about the movie, but that moment has stuck with me. I ask for patience and I get stuck behind a sightseeing tourist on my commute route. What I receive is the opportunity to redirect my natural inclination to press on the horn into some other kinder action. I ask for courage and a juicy spider comes scuttling across the floor. What I receive is the opportunity to calm my beating heart enough to usher it out rather than jump on a chair and call for help. I ask to have the eyes of my heart opened. What I receive is the beauty of sun dappling through the autumn clouds and dahlias blooming in rainbows. What I receive is also the ugliness of children in cages and forests burning in the inexorable pain of pandemic. <clears throat> like prayers for patience or courage, all I get when I ask to see is an opportunity to practice, to practice really seeing, not just with my eyes, but with my heart and my soul and all that I am. And Jennifer's prayer. Jesus, give us what we pray for Open our hearts to really notice and know this ugly, beautiful, redeemed world. Amen. Offer oh, me this um, this devotion touched on so many different things. Um, one is um, the practice of um, uh, contemplation is not the right word. The word just went out of my head. Uh, just practicing being aware of your surroundings and aware of your um, reactions. When, like she talks about um, being impatient behind a tourist on her commuter route and wanting to honk the horn, um, being aware of um, how you're feeling and why you're feeling. Ask yourself why you're feeling that way. That was one of the things that st struck me with this devotion. Because that can really change how we react to things when we start to look into why we're reacting to certain situations in a certain way. Because um, it may have nothing to do with that situation, but something deeper that we can work on resolving for ourselves. Um, and the other is just really seeing, really paying attention to the world. And that can be hard because when we see, we see also with our thoughts our preconceived notions, it filters what we're perceiving. Um, and that's true of, of listening as well as seeing. Um, and just being aware of that proclivity to um, filter what we're taking in. And when someone's speaking, especially with, about something that um, really makes us nervous or upset or raises our ire, is to take a deep breath and then truly listen to what they're saying and try to understand it from their perspective. Um, I think about that in terms of, uh, especially about um, issues regarding racism and how so many people, generally white people, um, shut down and get all upset and don't really listen to someone's story. And it's so important to listen to other stories. and especially when we can't relate to them. And just because we can't relate to them doesn't mean that they're not uh, real for them and that it's not something that they truly have experienced. So it's, it's, um, it's taking the time to really be aware 
of what people are saying and be aware of our own emotions. I think Jesus had a good handle on that as well and was trying to teach his um, his disciples to to think and to see and to hear and to feel in that way. Anyway, I hope you have a good day and I hope to talk to you again tomorrow.